hello guys uh, welcome to this quick tailwind css tutorial today we will going to create a simple uh, dashboard statistics component so uh, i have a few variations designed in figma here you can see and i will be attempting to create this one uh, the width icon one so let's see how we can create this uh, component in tailwind css so i have here tailwind uh, play.css and uh, the css is basic here and this is also basic so let's start how i can uh, do this mm. okay so before that um, uh, let me uh, let me do some uh, changes in the config uh, so i'll be using a default from my local so i'll just paste this it's nothing just a default so it it more looks like what i wanted like some sans inter font and the stock font something like that and css is just fine so i have just few div here like it's it's just a background wrap just a background color and uh, a container so that I can start right in here. So it comes right in center. So that's fine. So let's uh, start creating uh, the uh, the statics component. So first we will need some. Uh, we'll create some a uh, grid here. So let me start with the uh, view and, and I'm going to add a class of grid. Inside that, have as many uh, do we want. Like, um, I'm going to create four here and maybe type something so you can see. Like, it's coming blow it so what we need here is uh, we need to uh, specify the uh, the column so I'll be specifying it as um, grid columns for so in mobile I want the same like this so from SM I think I'll go with uh, grid calls too and then for LG, it call four. So in large versions, it will uh, it will be on four columns. Maybe like you can see, like this. So this is a SM. You can see this is fine. And then we will work on the first div. And we'll keep the rest like that and then we'll copy the content to the uh, other divs as well like if you're using react you can only do one and then loop it so that's you can do okay um, now uh, what i do is inside that maybe i will make this div uh, g, sorry class bg white so it's white color so i think we need to add some gap here so i think we need to add some gap here like maybe i can add gap seven or something that's fine uh, then once uh, we also need a, a small shadow like here a little bit shadow we can add so add shadow sm and then i also want rounded so the corner is not sharp so that's fine i also wanted a padding so let's go for p5 that's fine then inside that div we need uh, 
total three div um, maybe we can do this using flex so I will inside that let's start with the flex and then to div inside it okay so that's fine maybe let's format this document okay so we have this content like this so this is for the icon and this is for the content in this content um let me add another div and you can call it total sales and below that we can add another div it will be the price this price so we will just create so this looks fine to get started so only thing we need is the icon so the icon is in the in a background so maybe either we can just turn this to a background or um, I can add another div inside so this will be the uh, background color and here we can put the SVG icon so let me uh, copy the icon quickly from my my figma file I'm doing this in off screen don't worry okay so I have this SVG here paste it so this is what I have and this looks fine let's format it looks fine and uh, this is a BG uh, I think we'll uh, add a documentation page here so it will be easy to find. so inside that do um, I'm going to add a background color so, class, so the background is like um, like this fuchsia color so I don't have this in, uh, in the config like uh, the colors maybe I think I should copy that from fuchsia okay just for colors okay. customizing colors like I can uh, search for a few okay oh. mm. okay it's not here so this is the color palette reference mm. okay so this is what I want let's see so this is this is the name okay I will just copy this name and here I'll just use this so that here I can now uh, I can select um, BG Fuchsia what is I don't actually <laughs> know how to spell this or how to pronounce this let's go for 50 here let's see if we are getting any output okay it's compiling that's fine In that meantime let's make it uh, rounded and this time full mm -hmm. and so that's fine maybe we can add a uh, a width 12 and h12 and a 
icon needs to be in center uh, before that I will just make text Fuchsia around 400 so that I can change this stroke to current color so that's what so this color will take I can change any color I want and I want it to become in sender so maybe I will go with the flex and place item sender and this I'm also going to change okay let keep keep it like that mm. so it's sender okay let's go for justify sender items sender yeah so that's what we want all good and uh, since uh, we need some spacing here so what's the problem with the flex is uh, we cannot put gap here it works in chrome in some browsers but it's not uh, compatible with the old browsers so i think uh, the easiest way will be adding uh, the space utilities maybe we can go for um, space between so this is what we want so like uh, space x4 we can just try it yep that's fine for now now um, we want to make the styling of the right side mm, okay for that uh, let me go here and we'll add a class and um, just want to text a 400 yep that's fine and class for this to text to excel and also font font bold as well as um yep maybe text I don't want it not back. So that's it. That looks good. I think one thing uh, pending is the alignment. We can just same as item sender. We can just put item sender. It's in sender right now. So let's see. Okay. That looks fine now let's go be this div here okay actually this div these are grid and we will delete let me add some space two three and four and maybe i'll just check the responsive as well yep see it works out of the box we don't need to do nothing we just added the added the calls here and it works automatically now the next job is to add uh, the new content and the new colors so this color is cyan and this is going to be amber so amber is not defined so amber okay let's see what's the okay this is space we'll go to colors and go to where is that okay here is the amber so we just open that as well config add amber so i guess uh cn is included or we should also include the cn let's see oh, 
not included so we will add uh, cn color store cn as well now it's easy like uh, we just change the color of here cn and then cn here we'll go for amber and then at last we have the emerald so i think emerald is also not defined so i'll go with the config and just duplicate dot emerald that's fine so i can define emerald here so it's compiling right now in that meantime i will just change the icons as well so the icons okay i have got this svg paste it here make sure that's fine here as well That's fine then I will add the icon for the other one I'm just pasting this so make sure the stroke is current color Okay, so that's fine. Now the last one is going to be this. Again, copying this control. Let me make sure it's updated well okay so our icons are updated the last thing pending is the text so we'll just change the text so last one is sales and the next one is net new it's going to be sun 520.50 then We got customers. Here we can put one, three, seven, five. Last one is MR, and that's going to be two fifty. Good. So let's see our component. Okay, so we got a working dashboard uh, statistics component using Tailwind CSS. That's it. It's pretty easy, right? And it's responsive. We can just format this document and I'll just click the share button. That's it. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like more video like this please let me know this is my first video so if you feel uh, something uh, in this if you have any feedback you can let me know because it's the first time i'm doing so maybe something is bad uh, so you can let me know what or what uh, i can improve so that will be good so thank you that's it bye, -bye.